today I'll be teaching you how to play in a pickle. So you open the box up and there is an instruction booklet, other games that they make, and a postcard type of thing, and then the cards. So it says in the instruction you just take out this thing and then use it as a deck, but you don't you don't have to do that. And how it works is you give everyone five cards. One, 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 one. And the point of the game is to get, depending how much players you have, but the point of the game is to get a certain amount of pickle rounds and winning a row. So for two players, you have to win five rows. For three or four players, you have to win four rows. For five to six players, you have to win, you have to win three rows. So how the game works is um, to set up first before, besides giving up the cards, you have to go like this. One. Two, three, four. On your turn, you're allowed to put down a card that either does this. So I have a jacket, a note, let's say, an artificial flavoring, and an osis, and a stock. So right here, I could do, I could put, take the note and put it under the clown. A note is in the clown. Or I could do, a note is in the margarine. Or a note is in the cheeseburger. But you have to put it behind. Or I could go like this. A cheeseburger is in the jacket. Because I'm putting it on top. Cheeseburger is in the jacket. Or I could put the margins in the jacket or the ear is in the jacket, even though it doesn't make any sense. Um, it has to make sense usually, but it depends how you're playing. If you put like, let's say, an ear in a jacket, or actually an ear in a stock, and people don't think it makes sense, then you have a debate. Not including the people that, not including the people that put down and the person that says it's not true, that's not possible, Everyone else of debates. It's basically a vote. Whoever, whichever side gets more, that person wins. And then that's if it goes down or not. Now, once there is, let's say, the jacket, I mean, the clown is in a jacket, and the note is in the clown, and the jacket, the artificial flavoring, is in the note, which is in the clown, which is in the jacket. Then it's called the pickle round. Everyone, how it works is your cards, you basically will have to, um, after your turn, obviously. Actually, in this game, it's a little bit different. Besides how you pick, it's a little bit different. How you pick is by picking after a turn, but it might be before turn, depending on what the instruction says. So besides doing that, if you can't play or you don't want to, you're allowed to take three cards if you want this rule to be allowed and exchange it for different other three cards. And at the end of the turn, you pick a card. So, once there's four cards in the thing, it's called a pickle round. So now back to five cards at the end of the turn. Obviously, I only have to put down one card at a time, but I'm just demonstrating. So at the four cards, what happens is it's called a pickle round. And the next player, the person after the pickle round, st does this. He takes his card and he's allowed to put it only over there. So the jacket, if he has something, like the jacket, 
could be in the meadow. But he's not allowed to go like this. He's not allowed to. Um, he's not allowed to do uh, a sofa in the artificial flavoring. That doesn't make any sense. But if he has a bean inside the artificial flavoring, it's still not allowed because it's pickle round, and you always have to put it on top. After the pickle round, whoever puts down the last card. Actually, no. And really how it works is it doesn't put the last card. That player goes, that made the pickle around, right? The next player goes, trying to get something bigger, the next player, and then and then back to the first player that made the pickle around. Whoever put down the last card after that win, gets the, the roll. And then depending how much rolls you do, that's how much it starts. But once someone gets a roll, you discard all your everything and you make a new one and you give out new cards for it that is how you play in a pickle please subscribe and it's a very fun game and you also could do it basically in a story type of way where you just put down the cards and then you make it as a story and that is how you play in a pickle. And one more thing is that everyone is not allowed to pick a card during a pickle round. And that is how you play in a pickle. Thank you for watching. And as I said before, please subscribe. Okay, goodbye.